Hey everyone, welcome back to Press to Cook. I'm Dale, your go-to guy for all things kitchen and appliance related. Today we've got a super helpful video lined up, Kenmore Fridge Door Troubleshooting Made Easy. If you've been having issues with your Kenmore Fridge Door, you're in the right place. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more handy tips and tricks. All right, let's get started. First off, let's talk about common issues you might face with your Kenmore fridge door. From doors not closing properly, to strange noises, to temperature inconsistencies. These can be super frustrating, but don't worry, we've got you covered. One of the most common problems is the fridge door not sealing properly. A faulty seal can lead to warm air entering the fridge, making it work harder and use more energy. To check the seal, simply run your hand around the edge of the door. Do you feel any cold air escaping? If yes, it might be time to replace the gasket. Don't worry, it's easier than you think. First, you'll need to order a replacement gasket that's compatible with your Kenmore model. Once you have it, remove the old gasket by pulling it out from the groove. Clean the area thoroughly before installing the new gasket. Start at the top and work your way down, pressing the gasket into the groove as you go. Voila, your fridge door should now seal perfectly. Another issue you might encounter is the door not closing properly. This could be due to a misaligned door or a problem with the hinges. To fix this, first check if the fridge is level. Use a spirit level and adjust the feet if needed. If the fridge is level but the door still won't close, it might be time to tighten or replace the hinges. You'll need a screwdriver for this. Simply tighten the screws on the hinges or replace them if they're worn out. Easy peasy. Now let's talk about those strange noises. If your Kenmore fridge door is making a squeaking or grinding noise, it could be due to dirty or dry hinges. To fix this, all you need is a bit of lubricant. Apply it to the hinges and open and close the door a few times to work it in. No more annoying noises. Lastly, if you're experiencing temperature inconsistencies, it could be due to a door that's not closing properly or a faulty seal. Follow the steps we discussed earlier to fix these issues. If the problem persists, it might be time to call in a professional. But hey, at least you tried. And there you have it, folks. Kenmore Fridge Door. Troubleshooting made easy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Press to Cook for more awesome content. Got any questions or tips of your own? Leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.